Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Spooked. The Scary Story Improvised Podcast. I'm Damian Depping. I'm Cody Crane. And welcome to Fan Expo. I almost forgot I was here for a second there. Did you? Yeah, in the intro. Oh, my God. I'm I, sorry. I got excited. You did. You always get too excited. He is always popping off. You know how he is. I was astral projecting in front yes. of you all. He was in room uh, 718. <laughs> he was over at the uh, Anime Watch Along. Sorry. But it's not all about us today because we have two no. great guests here today. So first up... We have... Not Mark Little. Not, not Mark yeah. Little. He had, to, <laughs> he had to cancel. He's just like, listen, I can't do this. I can't be seen with you guys on stage. Don't put my name on it. We kept the name on the door just to piss <laughs> yeah. him off. Despite him. <laughs> yes. If you're expecting him, sorry, but uh, too bad. We got better guests. <laughs> yes. First up, we have actor, songwriter, musician, singer, star of Lock and Key, Julia Jones here. Hi. Thank you guys for having me and messaging me just three days ago. Be like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, I'm doing whatever. I'm, this is this is fun. I love Expo. Well, yeah, and I feel like you owed me because if you don't know, uh, on Lock and Key, Halia brutally murders mm-hmm. me, mm-hmm. and I was just waiting to pay that off at some point. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that was that was quite cinematic. So after this, you. I'm guessing friendship over now, right? You've done. It, the <laughs> yeah. transaction's complete. Debt you never paid. have to speak it t- together again, ever again. I mean, in Matheson, like, we didn't have a friendship in the first place. So we're, I think we're doing pretty well <laughs> the fact that we can sit yeah. beside oh. each other. You're getting honest early. Yeah. No, this guy's great. And the fact that, you know, he was in for one day and was just so fun to hang out with. Mm-hmm. And we just continued... Whatever this yep. is. <laughs> and, and the thing that people may not know is that I was written in for two seasons, but Halia demanded that I was killed off immediately. I got one line out, and it just was not working. Yeah, it was something about his vibe. He's a real actor's actor. The only, the only the other actors want to hang out with him. Nobody else wants to see him. <laughs> <laughs> but we have another guest here. Because we have legendary actor. You know him from things like Saw 2. From the new Chucky series, Land of the Dead, we got Tony Napo here. Hey! I love that guy. He's no Mark Little. Uh, (laughs) I hope Mark Little watches this. Oh, yeah. We'll tag him and everything. Uh, uh, Tony, recently my uh, acting teacher as well. Oh, yeah. One of two acting teachers that are uh, here at the expo. <laughs> My other acting teacher, way, way back, was Matthew Lillard, and oh, you nice. recently fixed all the mistakes he did. <laughs> <laughs> and what did I tell you? <laughs> you said, uh, start cut your from fucking scratch. hair. Yeah, cut my hair. <laughs> well, that was he it. Watch that was this. all my <laughs> advice. <laughs> Oh, it, it's great to have both of you here. I guess um, off the top, we always ask, we start talking about ghosts and the paranormal and everything like that. So before we get into us, I want to get like a little bit of a poll in the room. How many people, like a show of hands and, and applause, I guess, if you believe in ghosts? How, what's the ratio like? Wow. This, is, this is pretty good. This okay. feels like a little more than half. It, it feels like we're, we're getting pretty close. And I think if I do recall, the table's split in half right now. If I'm not mistaken, and I don't know if things changed, but Halia, I believe you're a ghost believer as well. I'm a, I believe in the spirits. Yeah. And energy. So it's us yeah. two versus the world, because I know Damien doesn't. And no. Tony, how are you feeling these days? You know days? what? I just, just recently I've been coming around to the, <laughs> the idea of... Uh, frequencies and, and spirits and uh, op- op- opening my mind more to it. What really? Than hallucinogens than or? Pardon me? Hallucinogens or? <laughs> yeah, a little bit of that. <laughs> that is one way to okay. see them. It's yes. also, also just being hopeful as I get older that <laughs> there's something else. Right, right. <laughs> the clock's ticking. <laughs> My thing with that is that every ghost story you hear, it's just someone hanging around an old house doing something sad and pathetic. I'm like, I don't want that. I'd rather not believe in ghosts than just because of that. But they're trapped. 
Yeah, that sounds terrible. I'd rather just be nothing. I don't think they had a choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. But I'm saying the possibility of that is enough to be like, nah, I'm good. I don't need to believe it. You know what? I've been working a lot lately, and I wouldn't mind sitting around for a couple hundred years. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> So what if, you uh, if for. any of uh, casting agents are listening right now, stop casting Tony. <laughs> he wants a break. Please no, don't no. curse us with another 2020. <laughs> we don't need to sit around right, any longer right. than we already no, have. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think that it sounds pretty relaxing to me, honestly. And I think Tony's on to something. Just sitting around, opening a few cupboards every once in a while. That's your job. <laughs> you just have yeah. to do that. Rattle a chain. Yeah, rattle, <laughs> rattle an old chain that you have. <laughs> Spilling things, making the walls bleed sometimes. I, I would maybe. like to be transported into a world where the strikes are over, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, God, that would, yes. be great. would you be a ghostwriter? Uh, good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And the question stands. Oh. Clever. <laughs> yeah, if you're wondering how we got these great guests, well, everybody has a lot of free time right now. <laughs> Uh, so, does anybody in the room right now have like a uh, kind of a, a ghost story or a paranormal experience that they kind of want to share that you're dying to tell us? Because we'll react to it and we'll tell you if it's real or not. Oh, we got there one. There we, oh, we go. go. Right That's why he sat there. in the okay. front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got it yeah, official. We want everyone to hear you. We're pulling out all the stops for you and your story. No, so you know what? Just project. We don't. Yeah. <laughs> can we get this going throughout the convention too, so everybody yeah. can judge? Yeah, I like this. This is good. Um, yeah, I've got a story that my whole family can back up. Um, it was Christmas of like 2000, maybe 1999, and the whole family is sitting around in, uh, the like the fireplace in the living room. Uh, my grandparents, my brothers, my mother, father, we're all sitting around there. And above the fireplace is uh, basically like this big shelf where there's a um, like an aquarium. And inside the aquarium, there's a, there's a bunch of fish and there's rocks and things like that. You know, an aquarium. And uh, next to it <laughs> is uh, yes. there's a bunch of like rocks that you can sometimes switch out to give the fish, I don't know, a new experience. And so <laughs> we're all sitting there have a conversation. And, and, and the, we start getting into like some sort of family fight and everybody's arguing and suddenly there's a rock and we watch it all. We all see it happen. The rock lifts off, goes into the center of the living room and drops on the ground. Wow. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so that's my story. <laughs> so let me get this straight. You yeah. had an aquarium above the fire. I'm glad you I'm I'm, gl I'm glad you're focusing on the important part here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you superheated the rock and it just exploded out of the tank. Shh, it didn't come it wasn't wet though either. Oh, it was a dry rock? No, yeah, because it was next to the 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 aquarium. Oh, next yeah. to the aquarium. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. that's the important feature here. Did the yeah. aquarium ever get like too hot? Did you have to turn that thing off? We never turned the fireplace on because okay. it oh. was like an old house and that was just specific. freezing cold the in there all the time. Yeah, well, it, it was a it was a problem. Not yeah. even for Christmas. It's a Christmas miracle if you have a, a fireplace, right? <laughs> we we lit the Christmas tree on fire. It was fun. Oh, okay, very Are nice. there a lot of murderers in your family? <laughs> Well, I mean, I none that it. I want to... <laughs> I knew it! Well. <laughs> All right, how many? Four, five? Uh, we, we, it's fun. we don't need to get into it. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, there's nobody around here. No. Uh, <laughs> um, there, there, we, we did have a history of rum running uh, okay, that we go. used to, because we lived in Windsor, Ontario, and sure. so uh, my grandparents would do rum running across the, the Detroit River when it would freeze over. I yeah, wow. there's a connection there somehow. So then maybe it's something to do with that. I don't it's know. It's definitely murderers. Or all the people, or all the people that I killed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Well, okay. So are you sure you just didn't see this rock fly off the mantelpiece because you all were drunk on rum? <laughs> I mean, I was seven, I think. <laughs> yeah, seven. drunk uh, on rum. Yeah. yeah. So it was a lot harder it than it rum. That's for sure. It's a lot easier to get drunk on rum when you're seven, probably. <laughs> I assume. Unless you've been drinking for seven years. <laughs> that's true. Wow, that's, that's true. Right. <laughs> I have a similar story to that. Uh, my, uh, drinking uncle, at seven? His, well, no. Oh. Um, <laughs> my uncle uh, um, and his partner renovated a whole old Victorian house um, up there somewhere. <laughs> and in the convention center? It, it was definitely haunted. There, there, full there address. There were, in, in, in fact, kids running through the walls and the stairs wow. and all that stuff. And one day one of the candlesticks flew off of the mantle and it had gone to the point where um you know those fish 
Yeah. Th- not yours, but like there's. <laughs> I figured they weren't mine specifically. The fish yeah. that are like on a thing. The like, like the, the Billy, Billy Bass, Bass kind of thing. Fish. Like it sings. Yeah. Y- yeah. That flew off the mantle plate. The fireplace mantle. It's are a we fireplace the same thing. Life? Um, <laughs> and and so they sat. I wasn't there at this point, but they sat down together and kind of held a little bit of a candlelight seance and said, we are just trying to make your house better. We don't want any problems. Please stop throwing things at us. And they stopped. I didn't ask them to stop. That's the problem. Probably should have. The rock happened more than once. It kept happening. (laughs) There was other things. They would, uh, the the dog would suddenly get let out into the backyard sometimes, which was actually quite helpful, to be honest. That is very handy. (laughs) I mean, if I had useful ghosts like that, it'd be great. Yeah, I was like, thanks, ghost. Yeah. (laughs) I feel like they could be useful. I guess we should go down the line here and decide if this story is real. Okay. Uh, if this was a real okay. ghost encounter. Oh, we're we're or doing not. verdicts now. We're yeah. passing judgment. I, I, I think that we have the power to do that. This is okay. our, what, third fan expo? We're fine. They've All given right. us everything. <laughs> um, I'll, I'm going to say, based off of all of the facts, and that there was a similar story regarding fireplaces, I'm going to say that it's true. I'm going to say that's a ghost that was throwing that rock around your house. I appreciate okay. that. Leo, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have a similar story. Whoa, yeah, but you yours try- is like... She doesn't like competition. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. Okay. Yours is like too weird. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yours, why was it dry? Why the middle of well, the Well, because it was next to the aquarium. Why? Because you but put like, them, you switch it in. <laughs> that's what I want to know. Like, what was the what was the reasoning? Because my belief is that energies only can they have to gather up a certain amount of energy to be mm. able to physically move things. I think it's because we were fighting. Mm. That's my that was oh, my guess. It was like, oh, that's I, that, that's kind of what I think it was, to be honest. Oh, shit anymore. Mm. So whether so that was a ghost it was your or dad threw it, I mean, he was pissed. Look, it wouldn't have been the first time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm also thinking, I don't think it was ghosts. I think you're a big liar about that. <laughs> what I'm thinking, you caught maybe, me. <laughs> because you're constantly stimulating your fish mentally. Uh, they sure, became, mentally. Mentally. They became uh, psychic, and they launched the rock because they were sick of that one, and they needed something different. So I'm saying no ghost, psychic fish. You know what? That's much more believable. Mm-hmm. Finding Nemo. But That's more plausible spooky. to me anyway, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm Final gonna verdict? Say, I'm going to say I believe you, oh. but uh, because I'm here for Mark Little as a oh, substitute, true. really, <laughs> right? and uh, he doesn't believe anything you say. Well, you know, know what? That's a Mark Little too late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> wow, so there we have yep. it. I think we're, we're split on that one, I guess. Yep, two do, all. Yeah, do we have another story? Does someone... Does anyone else oh, have... Oh, we got a okay, bunch we got here. A few Let's stories. go down here. Step right up. We got two. We'll get to both of them here. The mic doesn't go super far, sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, mine is not as fantastical as a floating rock. That's okay. What, what's your <laughs> name? What's your name? Uh, my name is Mackenzie. Mackenzie, thank you for sharing your story. Um, we live in a house that is extraordinarily old. The walls are practically falling apart. It's a hazard at this point. <laughs> And We're not contractors. What's the address? Yeah. Yeah. You What's the address? I'd like to report this. Yeah. All right, we got him on. Um, but we have had like a lot of experiences, things that are unexplained, things opening, closing, steps, mis- disembodied voices, things like that. However, the weirdest experience I had w- happened while I was on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, get you while you're most vulnerable. Yeah, no, exactly. is, I already you believe it's a ghost. Down. Yep. Um, the bathroom that we have, the toilet is kind of behind the door. And so well, I closed the door to go to the bathroom, and the door opened by itself. And so I was like, hey, what the heck? And so I go, and I tried to push the door closed, and the door pushed against me <laughs> to stay open. <laughs> No. <laughs> um, uh, so. Oh it, it At least if you shit yourself, you'd be in the right place. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You're safe. Yeah. yeah. So that was probably the weirdest. 
So okay. it wasn't like another family member, and then they were pushing, nope. and you said stop, and they were just so embarrassed that they just doubled down and pushed harder on the door, <laughs> didn't say anything, and then no. you're like, I said stop, and then they l- ran away. No, it no? was it was there was no one there, and I think it was only me and my mom home at the time, mm-hmm. and I yelled as you do (laughs) and my mom was very curious as to what was happening Mm. and came upstairs and there was no one else home and before anyone mentions the wind because that (laughs) comes up a lot whenever (laughs) I show next to it. How windy was was it outside? It was the middle of winter. Okay, my point still stands. How windy was it outside? (laughs) (laughs) I'm not sure. I don't go outside. <laughs> How level is this cracker house that you live in? Like, it's made of crackers. I yeah. mean, you oh, know, yeah. like just like um, leaning. Is the door like just gonna slam shut on itself, oh, or no. is it like no? It's not leaned enough that doors move, but it's leaned enough if like you put a marble and you blew at it, it would move. Right. Okay. okay. And you were you were feeling like it was like pushing in on yes. you, like it was yeah. like a pressure coming yes. through. Yes. Okay. That's spooky. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's a good spook story. Yeah. Uh, Tony, what do you think? I believe you absolutely, but it sounds like your house is broken. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Do you know anyone who could uh, help fix that, Tony? I know a bunch of people. Okay. (laughs) Well, we'll get you in contact with Tony after the show. (laughs) We'll get your house fixed up. (laughs) We're we're doing a whole makeover now. Yeah, send a crew over. We're allowed to do renovating shows. So we got a a new reality show. I love (laughs) renovations, too. I'm such a handy person. If anyone here follows me on Instagram, I'm always doing renovations, so call me up. (laughs) I don't believe anything that happened on the toilet myself. I think you were on your phone, and you just got lost in 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 the, I don't know, Instagram feed. And then you know started pushing on the door. That's that's what I think. And I'm I'm all in on you. I think it's true. Oh, I think okay. that beware, <laughs> it's coming. Move. Don't out. go to the bathroom again. Do you think if you had an occupied little sign on the door, it wouldn't have pushed back? <laughs> Do you think that would have helped? Yeah, a lock. A I think lock. it might have just been if it was a spirit, which I doubt. If it was, they might have just been rude. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, yeah. We got another one here. All right, hi there. Um, so, like, many hundreds of years ago, there was a volcano eruption in Nass Valley in northern BC, and there was a village there called Ianch, and it was destroyed by uh, the volcano, and you can still go see the volcanic grounds. Apparently, while everybody was running away, there was a woman who couldn't find her baby, and she was running around the village looking for her baby, oh. and they both perished in the lava. And now, sometimes if you're in the forest up there, you'll hear a baby crying, you turn around and she'll be there, standing there, and you can't see her legs, and she'll be saying, can you, can you please help me find my baby? Where's my baby? And the baby's attached to her shoulder, no. but she can't see it, oh, and she can't hear it crying. And apparently you have to um, tell her, I don't know where your baby is. I do, and you're in a forest by yourself. Like, this is if you're a hunter or a hiker. <laughs> Why are you and, you ha- and you have to say, I, can't, I don't know where your baby is, and just stand there, and then she'll move on. But if you don't, she'll just keep following you. Wow. But you so you have to confront her and say, I don't know where your baby is. Now, I'll caveat that by saying that my cousin, who grew up on the reservation there, and he sa- he says, I think it's just a mountain lion. <laughs> uh, but I th- I believe in the spirits. That, you know, the forest is freaky, man, especially up there because it's like the middle of nowhere. But yeah, if, I don't know if I ever saw that. I'd probably lose five pounds instantly. Oh, <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. oh my God. Wow, so a a, a floating rock, pushing the bathroom door, and then woman engulfed in... <laughs> Yeah. Lava and her baby, <laughs> and her to baby. her back. We we went hard there. Like yeah, we yeah. <laughs> it was a leap. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, I guess uh, were you ever there? I, were you ever at the uh, forest yourself? Did like, you? Uh, you uh, I mostly grew up in. Folklore? I mostly grew up in like Vancouver and Toronto. So I mm. I only got up there. I live up there now, but um, I'm not a hunter. I'm a hiker, but I never. There's no. It's grizzly bear country. There's not really a lot of hiking mm. trails, but yeah, it's it's. But I've gone like mushroom picking and stuff in the forest, and it's it's. If you don't not from there, you get lost like, two hundred yards from the village. Like it's so dense. So what kind of mushrooms? Uh, are pi- you? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Much yeah. more value, much more valuable mushrooms. To be honest, they're <laughs> pine mushrooms. They sell them in Asia. Uh, they're extremely valuable, so that's why people pick them. So what kind of mushrooms? I don't like? know. <laughs> you can't tell you they're valuable, and they're trying to make money. 
Pe- people eat them. It's illegal. It's it's legal. Like there's a storefront in downtown Toronto doing the same thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, oh. I'm going to Vancouver on Tuesday. Uh, can you tell me specifically where this is so I? Oh, don't this is go in northern BC. This is like up by Alaska. This is like okay. Okay, yeah. I'm not going there. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, I'm not going there. What if, what if the, the dead lady and her baby uh, uh, took you there, like an Uber ride? Yeah. <laughs> would would that be okay? You know, you should always check the license plate in the picture of your driver. That's uh, <laughs> so That's true. that would probably th- be my first time. It's like, where's my baby? Don't forget to give me five stars. <laughs> Well, I'm going to say for the sake of my sanity and so that I can ever sleep again, I'm going to say that it's not real about the woman with no legs and a melted baby to her shoulder, but I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm going to say that that's a, it's a really great um, legacy of a story to be passed on for a very long time. Uh, and I heard a lot of those at camp, which are really creepy. And that sounds like it sounds like a good one. And it, I, I'm never going up to Northern BC because. Of <laughs> I think it's uh, real in the sense that it's just a, a, a kindly old mountain lady with a huge boil on the side with googly <laughs> eyes on it. And when she's saying, "Where's my baby?" she's looking for a big hug and a smooch. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to say it's absolutely real, and if that ghost is listening, it could fuck with the people who said it wasn't real. (laughs) Yeah. And leave me alone. Please don't. Yeah. Please no. No, thank you. Oh, mountain, volcano lady, and baby. (laughs) Get them. No, please don't. We we can do one more if somebody else wants to. Do we have one more story? We got another one here. We got one right over the front here. Okay. Hello? Okay. All right. So, taking the energy way down. Yeah. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. You do uh, have an extra head with you. <laughs> so, um, it was night. I was in the living room of my old house, and uh, the hallway light was turned on, off, and it turned on, on, on its own. Okay. The end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that's the kind of story right. we're used to. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So to the, the other point. way around would make sense if like the, the power went off. But mm. like truly the other way around where it goes on is quite spooky. Tony, I gotta say, do you know any electricians who can come help them out here? I'm Italian, I can get anybody in here. All right, okay, we'll get you in contact with Tony. We're gonna have that Come take a look, take a look, give you an estimate. All right. (laughs) Tony's friends have a full working slate ahead of them now. (laughs) I'm just here collecting work. Yeah, he's getting the consultation fees. He's not doing any of the work. Unless he wants to, I don't know, I won't stop him. I'm I'm gonna say uh, light turning on. I'm a full believer in it. I'm all about it. Uh, Experienced a few uh, rogue lights going on myself, and uh, I go to demon right away. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I uh, I was uh, with my sister, and I think her head instantly went to uh, demon. Yeah, she she turned to me and went, the the light turned on, and I was like, yep. Did you check to see if anyone was standing beside the light switch? No, I was like, I turned on. Nobody was there. Such is life. Yeah. Sometimes lights turn on. Sure. <laughs> well, if anyone here has watched Lock and Key, I do wonder what Eden would do. And I think it would be more than just lights. I feel like it would be absolute havoc that Eden would bestow upon Matheson in Oh, like in a full flicker. Form. <laughs> oh no no no! It's burn the house down. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Just straight up. That's turning all the lights on in yeah. the house. Yeah. Yeah. Wee! <laughs> I mean, I um, for me, I'm just. Uh, I I don't know if I can I can really accept that it's a demon because why would a demon come here just to turn the light on? It kind of seems like a waste of your uh, evil powers. <laughs> To maybe just come in and turn the lights on, like why aren't you? Just want to read some, do some light reading. Why aren't you haunting a dead baby on a mountainside? <laughs> that's like, right. Come on, maybe what are you doing? Maybe the demon just wants to change. Yeah. Okay, that's There's true. lazy demons. <laughs> that's yeah. true. They're I not can, all I can relate. Ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, on that note, we got a story of our own to tell. Oh God. We can all draw positions here. We got some improv for you. Did the box is right in front of you, oh, Tony, yeah, there, yeah, if you want to grab a uh, oh, position. We're doing, we're doing this? Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> we got to do this. So we're going to draw a few positions just to kind of give us uh, some guidance on how we're going here. So did you want to take one of these here? Tony and I are both dreading this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there's nothing in there. All right, so we got two swings here. So you have no extra responsibilities. Perfect. Don't stress about oh, it. We're great. good. You can come and go as you please. I got the celebrity, so we're going to go to a – well, we're going to ask for uh, a celebrity or, like, a comic book character or something that at some point in the story I will have to appear as. So we're going to get that from the audience. Can I get a suggestion for that, please? <laughs> Woman Wait. dressed as Catwoman yelling Catwoman. I mean, that's, uh, that's got to be a slam dunk right there. I don't know. I really like Draco Malfoy. Draco, it was a good one. Put Maybe them both Draco in, Malfoy coward. Draco Malfoy as Catwoman. Yeah. Draco Catfoy. Tom Felton in a leather suit. Hmm. Well, <laughs> wow. If anyone's good at uh, fan art. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're, we'd like to see it. That's that's all we're saying. And that means, uh, Cody, you drew the narrator. Yeah, I drew the narrator. I'll go to uh, the audience here to yell out a, uh, a location where we can get this thing started. Weird mountainside. Weird mountainside. <laughs> Weird mountainside. In Northern Thank you for not saying your bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the weird mountainside in northern BC no. with uh, <laughs> Draco Catboy. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I don't think we'll we're supposed to know what we're talking about, about Tony. <laughs> it's an amalgamation of two different things, Catwoman Draco Malfoy from Harry Potter. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, you ever watch I'm Harry Potter, Tony? Have you watched either? Uh, I think I saw a couple of them. Okay, that's <laughs> I love how it was like celebrities, and then we just went with fictional characters. Oh, that's yeah. Fine. Which Don't are celebrities, I guess, it. in a way. I'm all over it. There are awesome. celebrities here. What is a celebrity? <laughs> what is celebrity? Our story starts on a dark, dark, cold night. Wind blowing everywhere. So much wind that if your bathroom window was open, the door would be flying every which way, hitting you off that toilet, I'm telling you. Oh, I really got to get that door fixed. I'm sick of getting hit in the head each time I go to take a big old doopy here. It's been, it's been weeks, and that contractor just won't seem to make it up this mountainside. Who am I even talking to? This is ridiculous. But just as he goes to close the window, he has, hears a yelling, a scream from the distance in the forest. You know where my baby is? <laughs> <laughs> where is my baby? Uh, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, listen, pal, I don't know nothing about babies, all right? I'm just trying to, you know, do my business and get back to doing other business. The lava is coming. The lava run! The lava run, okay. Oh my god. Our hero at this point thinks about pulling his pants up, Gosh. but it isn't sure if he oh should get off the toilet. I don't yet. know if it's a good idea to put him back up, because if something bad happens, it's going to be <laughs> everywhere. Suddenly, his house contractor knocks on the bathroom door, worried about him. <laughs> hey! Uh, what's going on in there? Mikey, now you show up? Yeah. Listen, I, I got two things going on right now. One, well, I don't want to say it out loud because it's embarrassing. And two, I'm taking a dump. And the lava's coming. That sounds like one thing. What, what was that other voice? Oh, that, uh, yeah, there's an uh, evil spirit out on the mountainside looking for a baby and talking about the That's lava. That's going to cost extra. Oh, <laughs> shit. One, one second. Uh, excuse me. Uh, spirit. Spirit. Spirit? Yeah. Hello? Um, listen, uh, the contractor's here. And they're saying that, you know, hauntings, possessions, all that stuff's gonna cost extra. So could you like cool it for like, uh, hey Mikey, how long is it gonna take to fix this door? I, don't, I, have, I gotta look at it first. Okay, well, been about, about an hour maybe? I don't know, why don't you pull up your pants and open the okay. door so well, I can get okay, in one there. One second, uh, about an hour. Could you just like, like cool it for a minute? Cause like, I don't wanna, I can't afford this Does guy. Does he know where my baby is? <laughs> Uh, you know what? Okay, just uh, why don't you come in and ask him? I think this will just simplify things. You know, I'll pay the difference. It's fine. Mikey, come on in here. The spirit woman climbs up the house and in through the bathroom window as well. All right, uh, Mikey, spirit woman, spirit woman, Mikey. Hey, you don't got no legs. I'm sitting down. <laughs> no, the lady. She's oh. got no legs. Oh. 
<laughs> you know where my baby is. <laughs> <laughs> is somebody looking for a poor little baby? <laughs> I do not want to stand up and find out where that voice is coming from. Mom, you keep asking for me, and I've been on your shoulder this whole time. I can hear him, but I can't see him. Does anyone know where my baby is? I'm on playing a Game Boy. <laughs> so you see, my, this is my problem. Yeah. The door won't work. I'm trying to finish my business, and now I gotta deal with the afterlife and whatever, you know? And the lava's coming. And the lava's coming, okay, your lava's coming. You can't find your baby, your baby's right behind you. I don't know what you want. And the battery on my Game Boy's and almost out. And the battery's out. almost out. <laughs> How are you supposed to play Donkey Kong Land? I'm gonna have to file most of this under not my problem. Oh shit, okay, does that cost extra? <laughs> I'm probably gonna go. God damn it, this is gonna be. That light keeps going on by itself. Do you notice that? Well, I I have electrical problems too. That I might be able to help you with. Oh no, wait, it's just my sister. She's playing with the switch over there. Okay. Hey, do you know do you know where um do you know where that other fish that we got went? (laughs) No, I was I was I'm serious about this. There was another fish. I put it in the bag right on top of the fireplace beside the other fish, and then it disappeared. Yeah, listen, um, you know, there's a reason that I'm here on the toilet right now. Uh, yeah, can you finish your business and come down and find no, the fish? No, that's kind things? of the reason why you can't find the fish, because, uh, you know, I didn't want to go into town and get some groceries, so I had a little, you know, fish sandwich. Todd, can you just shut up and come and find the fish with me? Just I, finish up your business, get know. rid of the weird lady without no legs, and come down and, Who are you? I'm, I'm the contract. You're the sister? Yeah. Hey, how are you? Nice is it, to meet you. Is this going nice to cost extra, too? You. No, but I'd like to stick around a little while longer oh now. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, Mike. Okay. So this, is, this is costing me extra right now. You got there. I, oh, my God. Okay. Uh, hey. All of a sudden, this estimate is free. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Uh, hey. Mikey, this is my sister. Hey. Hey, sister. Uh, can you come downstairs and help me with the table? Because some something happened with the rocks from my fish tank. Okay. And it just completely shattered all around? the grass. Were they huh? flying around the rocks? Just out of nowhere, yeah. I heard I'm, some other guy just said that the other day. Right? Yeah. I was hearing that around town as well. Apparently, also, there's some lava coming. Jesus. And there's some lady who doesn't know where her baby is. But uh, anyway. That's what we're here for. That's what we need your help for. You might want to consider moving. Listen, kid, the batteries are in the drawer beside the refrigerator, okay? It's more than just the batteries. The Game Boy is really just to uh, distract me from the horrific thing that's about to happen to all of you right now. I can hear him. Well, can we have started with that, him? maybe? <laughs> well, because the lava's what took us out, of course. And, you know, and I got melted to my mom's shoulder like this, which isn't ideal for me because I wanted a whole life of my own. I wanted to be a, 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 a plumber. Okay, I seriously <laughs> don't know what's going on here, Listen. but there's a missing fish. Wow. I told you where the fish went. You're just not listening to me. I made a fish sandwich from the fish, and now I'm here. And speaking of plumber, kid, uh... <laughs> That's gonna be my next thing. I'm gonna need a plumber, so if you don't mind helping out. Oh my God, if you got a little pair of overalls that will go over half a body that's attached to a shoulder, and you got a little cap for me, and a little, uh, also a plunger that can fit in this tiny old hand, then I can uh, unclog just about any toilet you want. Don't distract me, there's a volcano about to erupt. (laughs) Listen, I was just at PlumberCon last weekend, so I have all the... W- wait a minute, a volcano? Yes, that's what I'm saying. The volcano's about to erupt. We probably got about two minutes. That's what I've been saying. Does anyone know where my baby is? Here's the thing, see. I've been a rum runner at, uh, up <laughs> in this house li- hunting this fish tank for the last 75 years. And I'm sick and tired of all you people being around here all the time. So I started throwing rocks, okay? I admit it. So you're I'm the throwing one rocks. I'm trying to haunt you out of here, but you won't leave. You just won't leave. I keep on trying to do a seance, but you keep on talking through the lights and stuff. And I'm just saying, like, okay, we could have an outage or anything like that, but you keep on flicking them on and off, and that's just it. Can't you find a fish? I'm just trying to get your attention, that's all. <laughs> Listen here. I need you all to stop. It's your old pappy talking. 
I just came down from downstairs. All of this negative energy, all of this arguing going on upstairs, it's caused floating rocks all over the place down there. I was enjoying my turkey dinner by myself, and a rock just came and floated right in my eye. Then <laughs> I went and said, hey, what the hell was that? One went lodged in my throat. Hello, pooper. I just stole all your jewels, and now I'm up on the roof. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Uh, I think this some, house is Some leather-bound guy just, like, climbed through the window. I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, my God. I got to know because we only got about a minute left until that volcano erupts. How many family members you got in here? Uh, I, I didn't account for even this many fatalities. All right. Hey, so, your, so your sister, is she single? <laughs> no. Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so is this going to cost me extra again now? Not anymore. No. Okay. Great. Okay. Well, everyone... Everyone get in the van. I guess we got to get out of here before the volcano erupts. Are you done taking a shit? Yeah, pull up your pants. (laughs) We'll find the fish another day. I I don't want to find any other things. Mm. Pull up your pants. Okay. (laughs) So so he pulls up his pants. Pull up your pants in front of your sister, at least. And their (laughs) 17 family members walk down the stairs, followed by a ghost with a shoulder baby. And into a van. Are we all going to fit in the van? (laughs) I don't think we'll all fit in the van. Well, I'm just a fish. I barely take up any room at all. Well, what, can't we take the contractors to the truck, too? I mean, we have two vehicles. It's going to be extra. (laughs) Okay, you know what? Just just invoice me once this is all over, okay? You got it. Okay. I can just hang on to the roof, really. I'm a ghost anyway. All right, you go with the contractor because I'm sick of hearing about you hanging on, which is what I get shotgun do. with the contractor? Yeah, but is he ha- single? <laughs> I think he is. <laughs> I, I, yeah, but I mean, recently I was hurt, so I'm really not, <laughs> not necessarily looking. I think his mom is single, too. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> not your mom, the ghost mom. <laughs> Correct. Okay. We got about 10 seconds here. We better start this car. I think we're all going to die now. Well, eventually, sure. Not right now? Oh, right now. That's shit. I knew I shouldn't have got off the toilet today. (laughs) (laughs) Volcano erupts. Everyone molds together into one hideous 19-character creature. Does anyone know where my baby is? Spooked. That was a scary story. Whoa. How many people that didn't believe in ghosts now believe in ghosts with that story? <laughs> I don't yeah, even, we got one. We got a couple of believers now. There we go. <laughs> and I time. turn y'all against ghosts, too. That's great. That's what we were going I for. believe in ghosts. I no longer believe in improv. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and. Wow. I think that's the beauty of improv, is that you learn that at every improv show you go to. <laughs> improv is truly an art. It's like, even as actors, it's mm. just something that is so... It's it's difficult if you don't trust yourself, and it's difficult if you like don't just go with it and lean in, and and it's it's a hard thing to do sometimes, you know. Yeah. You just have to say yes and. <laughs> Life is all but an improv. Right. Or just do a little baby voice every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> when in doubt, little baby voice, say some goofy things, go goo goo gaga, and just piss everyone off, and Literally, then they yeah. have to figure it out. My my partner is a comedian, and that is my life. <laughs> <laughs> Like all the time, just just improv and voices, because he's also a voice actor. And that's the true horror. Yeah, well, <laughs> but it's fun. Has it's anyone fun, else you been know? haunted by a voice actor or improv comedian? Yes, every day. Can we get a show <laughs> of hands? Right. Well, let's do a round of plugs. Halia, where can everybody follow you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, uh, no longer Twitter, Good and old X. Instagram. Uh, at Halia Jones, H A L L E A J O N E S. And if you forget my name, you can just find me as Eden on Lock and Key. <laughs> Woo. Nice. And uh, Tony, what about you? Oh, I'm old. So <laughs> you got Instagram. I'm on Instagram. I have to revert back other, to OG other than that, you just got to come over to my place, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. box maybe yeah. no. I'm usually in a park somewhere <laughs> <laughs> so Which if you're just park? wandering around check the yeah. parks and you'll yeah. find Tony look for a dog and I'm beside the dog <laughs> <laughs> is it your dog or just a dog sometimes it's my dog okay, okay. <laughs> alright 
And you can follow us at Spoot Podcast. We'll be mm-hmm. sharing all of this stuff. As well as go to the sonarnetwork.com. The Sonar Network brought us here to Fan Expo, so shout out to them. Yeah, we want to thank them. Yeah, Woo! you can get full profiles on both Aaliyah and Tony, as well as check out all the episodes of our podcast and all of the other great podcasts that are on the network, too, and doing shows this weekend. Yeah, we got shows going on. There's more shows here today, and there'll be a bunch of shows tomorrow and Sunday, so mm-hmm. check, check them out. out. Spooked. Spooked. <laughs> Spooked. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> this podcast has been brought to you by the Sonar Network.